Hey everyone, Mark and Joey here. Wednesday morning coming to you from Ontario, Canada. And it's a golf day. We're getting ready for this, the second leg of the FedEx Cup. Very exciting. We just did our golf show. We're not going to reiterate all that kind of stuff. This is a betting show. We're going to talk about our bets, give a little bit of a reason why, and uh, keep this short for you and hopefully be in a spot where you make some money. We've been good on golf all season, so uh, we should be good again. Uh, it's certainly all the best are there now. And we're all inside, you know, inside top 70. So, um, you know, really the cream will rise to the top, I feel, in this particular week. So, um, and as always, great odds, uh, depending on who it is you're following. So, Joey, I'm going to let you go first and uh, and give your your wagers that you're playing. Now, I will mention, these are just key wagers um, on the start of the week in, the, in who's going to win. We do a ton of other little bets and stuff like that, uh, the kind of the feature bets, I guess, or whatever you might call well, them. Do, we'll do those. Just email, well, there's 25 of them. So just email us at ultimatesportschannel31 at gmail.com. And if you want to know what else we're betting, let us know. Um, like I say, golf has so many bets that we might pick up on before we go to the uh, the start of the tournament. And uh, we'd be happy to give those to you as well, but it would also make it a 45-minute show. So let's get to who we think is going to win the tournament here, Joe, and uh, you can start that off. All right, well, um, to win the tournament, I am going to go with Jordan Spieth. Um, and now he's also going to be someone who's going to be moving inside the top 30 then for me as well. Uh, I don't know if that's on your side or not, but something to know if you get the opportunity. So Jordan Spieth to win the tournament for me, um, he is going to do that as far as I'm concerned. He's 29-1, to 1. Uh, great odds there. Uh, he obviously continuing to run into form, but you get him kind of a couple bets. So you get him win the tournament, move inside the top 30. I'll also take him as top American. Uh, those odds of top American are six and a half to one, and then I'll get him. Uh, sorry, nineteen to one is top American. So those are really good odds. And then top five is six and a half to one. So win twenty nine to one. Top American nineteen to one. Uh, top five six and a half to one. Jordan Spieth there for you. Uh, he's been playing some great golf lately. Only a matter of time before he gets an actual win and he can hopefully turn that into a, a rejuvenation of what has been still a great career at this point. Only 26 years old, still has an age difference on most of these guys that we watch week in, week out. It's so funny, a guy at 26, we're talking about his career. Yeah. <laughs> most guys are not even getting on tour until they're 26, so that's pretty amazing. So uh, then I'm going to go with Louis Oosthuizen, and this is a guy that actually has never won in the States, so I don't know why I keep going with him, yeah. but he's a great uh, play as far as the consistency, consistency he has, so he always has an opportunity, I feel like, to win that if a week went his way, maybe some guys you know make mistakes around him, he can get that win. Uh, he's there all the time. A big time player was there this week as well. Um, you know, I've been a big fan of his for a long time, and I just know that the consistency is there. I mean, he's been second in every major. Yeah. Uh, he's been second almost feels like every tournament. Can one of these weeks fall maybe into his lap? I feel like that'd be it's, the way he'd have to he win. Just, he just reminds me of Colin Montgomery so much. I mean, Colin was the number one money order on the European Tour forever and could not win here. Yeah. And I don't know what it is. Look at Lee Westwood. One of the top players in Europe, even a top player over here, could not win anything that mattered. Uh, couldn't win majors, anything like that. I don't know what it is, but they just have not been able to do it. Um, Ustav is a great guy. I mean, from everything I've ever seen him, I've never met him, but everything I've ever seen and heard of him, he's a great guy. So, you know, I wouldn't be upset at all if he was able to win. Yeah, and I really think that he should get one here. Uh, he is obviously an open winner. Uh, lost in the Masters to Bubba Watson to the incredible wedge shot. Uh, he's 36-1 to to win. Uh he is six and a half to be the top other. So that's important there. That means every other nationality besides Europe and America. I think that's honestly even a better bet than betting him to win. But at the odds of him to win, you might as well take your chances. Yeah. And then he's seven and a half to one at top five. Uh, I think that's a good play as well. So that's uh, my second guy. And then my third guy uh, is uh, Rory McIlroy, guys. I mean, top Euro, win the tournament. Uh, top five is not worth it, but to win the tournament... You're getting eight and a half to one. He is the favorite at eight and a half to one. Obviously, we'll be you can never get the choke chain off his neck. Well, uh, it might be good. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to believe a guy that wins three times this year is called a choke by a guy who's 65 years old and saying doing a podcast show in front of you guys. Yeah, I get but, to watch him choke every week. But I don't be playing with him. Rory is so good that he's there all the time that he does choke a lot and win a lot. It's just someone who's there as often as he is. You see that happening. Now, the one thing I will agree with you on is he's not good with the league going in the final round. So maybe he won't and have He's them. not great in important events, at least since he's been 24. Well, the he's Players' been Championship he won this year, the Canadian Open. No, I call them the Majors and the FedEx Cup the important ones. But anyway, you can pick any He's won the FedEx want. Cup, too, in 2015. Yeah. But I'm glad this I'm guy brought now. all his knowledge. 
That's, um, that's so anyways, uh, Rory, in my mind, is obviously favored to win this event. I think he'll do it. I think if he can just be not in the league going the final round, he's guaranteed to win this event. Uh, obviously best player, but he's just a good value bet all the way around. And top Euro, uh, he's definitely a good one there too. So Rory McIlroy, hopefully he gets the best Never there. He'll be a great ornament. I was out playing you almost all year, so we'll go down that path. But anyway, um, is that it? you got three picks? You, you got to a super long shot to win the tournament. Yeah, you got a long shot. Oh, I lose his thirty nine to one. I don't 30, know. Oh, I'm just like a hundred to one. But if I'm okay, going, if I'm going cool. hundred to one, here's your hundred to one bet. I don't know what his odds are. Probably no value is Tiger Woods winning because I always want Tiger to win. Well, he'd be huge value because I believe everybody else is assuming he's not going to make it. So. Uh, you'll get good odds off of him. But anyway, so uh, that's great. I will. Uh, uh, the funny part is neither one of us are picking Brooks. Kind of, kind of funny. But Brooks he hasn't been very certainly good. Certainly showed last week amazing. that we're not sure if he's ready to go here. Um, so we'll cares. see what's going to happen. Uh, so my number one pick is Justin Thomas. Continues to put himself in position coming off the wrist injury. But finishes worse um, than Rory. So he was, event, so he was, he's interested. there now. Um, and so I'm gonna, I, I believe we're going to see Thomas uh, prevail. He's won before. He's won this. He's won major. Um, so I believe that he One is way ready to go. Rory has not won this year. Yeah, Rory and choked on a five okay, shot lead going to the final Rory, Rory hasn't won a major in six years. And so let's go Thomas hasn't won one in three years. And so, so, uh, yeah, so wow, just coming off the injury. But anyway, Rory, um, oh, we'll see man. who wins on that, uh, that side of the thing. But it's going to be Justin Thomas for me. And we're getting Justin at a good rate here, a 15 to one to win the tournament. So we love the odds on that. Uh, he'll also be my top five pick. And, uh, and, and, uh, best American. So we'll see where that leaves him coming out of the, uh, coming out of that. He's also been playing really consistent, tied tie nine, tied tie 11, tied 12, tied 12, uh, since the Scottish Open. And he co led the field at the Liberty National Greens and Regulation, ranked six in proximity to the hole. So anyway, the game's coming together. I expect us to see a really good week out of him, uh, coming up here. My number two pick is, uh, Brett Snedeker. Uh, he has been on a, a real tear lately and had a tie six at Northern Trust. And, uh, he, you know, he was part of the 2012 uh, team here. He was a 2012 FedEx Cup winner. And I think he is on momentum again, as I usually talk. I'm looking for guys that are in momentum move. And I think he's one of those guys that's going to come through for us and make this a week that uh, we're going to get the winner out of it. Yeah, and he has many majors. And uh, and he'll be the top. he'll be top five for sure as well. And uh, you can pick him up there. Now, my third win, which will get us lots of money. And I know already, so I'm going to tell you up front, I have no faith that he's going to win, but I have to pick him in case he does. Tony Finau, the most overrated player, I guess, or best the player who's player. never won anything that mattered. Um, I just think there's sometimes there's, there's, there's something to bring these people to the top, and I'm hoping this will be it. Uh, they're talking about the putter, uh, which is continually uh, giving him fits. However, one good thing this week, new greens. What do new greens mean? Bad putters also aren't putting with guys who already know all the breaks on the greens and stuff like that. Everybody is starting fresh on these on these brand new greens. So that kind of helps him in the fact that, you know, he's not the best putter in the world, but everybody's going to struggle a bit more this week on the greens as far as I'm concerned. So let's uh, take a look at what we're going to get here. Uh, we're going to get uh, Tony Finau at a price, which I had listed here a second ago. I'm going to have Joey look for it while we, uh, while we go there. Um, and then my super long shot, although he shouldn't be a super long shot because he's inside the top 30. He has 36 to 1. 36 to 1, so that's great odds as well. Uh, inside the top 30 is going to be Adam Hadwin. I am pulling for a Canadian here. He's got the game. He's just got to have that week. He just has to have that week. He has to worry about making three championship. Well, he's, he's, he's comfortably inside right now, but we'll see what, uh, we'll see what comes a week. But I just, I'm looking for a breakthrough week in a Canadian. I, he's been playing well. He's playing consistent, which is his style. I get all that. But this week, I think he's got a real chance of stepping up and maybe being able to win this tournament. And certainly, I'm taking him as the best other uh, because he would fit into that group. Obviously, not being American and European, fits in the other group. And I'm going to go with Adam. I went with him last week, kind of pedestrian week. Uh, so I'm looking for this to be the breakout week for him. So so there you go. There's our there's our picks for this uh, Real week. Real quick, I also think uh, Horschel, Kokrak, and Molinari will have good weeks to move inside the top 30. Um, and then I think that means also Phil's going home. For all you Phil fans out there, uh, I think he goes home this week, guys. Uh, I don't think he's going to do very well. Yeah, I think it's going to be tough. Phil and Tiger will be going home this week for sure. 
Uh, I don't think there's much they can do. Yes, I like Horschel. I've actually picked him a few weeks, but he is a little far back at 39th right now. So we'll see where uh, you know see where he comes in there. There's some other guys. Molinar at 34. I I can't find a bet for moving into the top 30, so we haven't been on play. I but like if, him. If there is one, I'd take Molinari in there for sure to move up. Uh, uh, Hideki, Hideki as well. There's a guy with experience. He's very close to getting out. These guys are only 40 points behind Andrew Putnam in 30th place. So all these guys got to do is have a good finish, and we might see them there. I'd love to see Ryan Palmer move up. Uh, you know, he's another one. He's right on right on Andrew Pullman's back as well as Harold Varner's back. You know, we're talking like 100 points separating a dozen guys on each side of the top 30. So, you know, it doesn't take much this week, but the amount of points they give away in the FedEx Cup – you only got to finish about five or six spots ahead of another guy, and you can move up those points. So and we got Corey um, Connors, Canadian. At so that's why I have Corey at twenty-seven. Hadwin's in fifty-fourth, and Hadwin's got to have his week. So uh, we want to see him come and play. Corey's been kind of he made a 51st. he made a big move a big move there to get in that top uh, uh, group in the top thirty, but hasn't been spectacular. Like I say, I'm looking for Hadwin this week as my super long and shot. And Nate Lashy at fifty-four. It'd be great to see if you get in. If you don't know Nate Lashy, he did win this year, but. I'll go uh, read his story. Very uh, heartwarming because it's uh, you know a sad start to obviously a career, and yeah. then now it's kind of come full circle. Crazy so sad, yeah, it was for sure. So, so there you go. There's the wager for this week. We'll be back Saturday to update them in case we've missed the mark somewhere and uh, give you some other uh, thoughts we might have for the final two days. So enjoy. It's gonna be a fantastic golf tournament this week, and. Uh,